We've ditched our van for this little red canoe, and we will be spending three days completely off-grid canoe camping on the Glenagh River over 40 kilometers all the way through to the South Australia border. With only this paper map to guide us, we have very little, if any, experience with canoe camping, so we made a pretty last minute purchase of all the things we thought we might need along the way. We leave for this canoe trip on Friday, and our stuff still hasn't arrived yet. It was cheap and we have no idea if any of it will actually work, but we're trying to stay hopeful because we have no idea what we're doing. Maybe this was a bad idea. If you've been here for a while, then you know we're used to camping in our van, which includes a comfy foam mattress, space for our clothes, our little kitchen, fridge, and toilet. But this week, that all goes out the window. Oh, there was a frog this morning under our tent. Got snacks in my pouch. A bunch of water just got into the canoe. As you can see, it's become each man for himself out here. <laughs> Jet ski zone. Uh, I didn't know I was signing up for this. Uh, on a small plastic bathtub <laughs> in the middle of a national park, surrounded by animals with no phone reception. But first, we need to wait for our supplies to arrive, if they ever do, figure out our sleeping arrangements, and make the five-hour drive to the other side of the state so this journey can begin. So we bought this tent from an op shop. So our goal right now is to see if this thing even has all of its parts. $8, that's a great deal. Now I remember why we bought it. <laughs> Hopefully it works. We also got the cheapest sleeping mattresses that you can get from Bunnings. So we're gonna test these out and do a review on them as well. We have no idea what we're doing. <sighs> Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> There's so many flies on this. Does that have a wall on it? Can you shake it off? <laughs> Don't! I think it's good. Don't. Doug! <laughs> Seriously. Shake it good. This isn't a tent. <laughs> this isn't a tent. <laughs> It's just the cover that goes over it. <laughs> we paid $8 for everything but the tent. I haven't been tenting in years, but I can set a tent up. And these poles are for like a gazebo. You know what I mean? Like they go on the ground like that. They're not for a tent. We just bought a bag of someone's tenting leftovers. <laughs> and now we have about a week and a half to find a new one for as cheap as possible. Fail. One pile. Tent fail. Tent fail. <laughs> Alex, one of our dear subscribers and best friends, can we borrow your tent for this challenge, please? <laughs> the rest of you will find out whether or not he lent us the tent when we get to the actual body of the video, I guess, on the first night. And if he says no, you can all make him feel like crap in the comments. <laughs> also, if any of the subscribers out there want a tent cover with no tent and a bag of poles, just let us know. Surprise, we're doing a giveaway. <laughs> a, a tent cover and guide poles. A bag of useless crap. You better not let any bugs in our tent or else you're getting kicked out. What if I need a zipper, I need a fly screen, I need... You need a whole van. <laughs> I need an astronaut suit. Don't worry guys, I, I, I got this, okay? Have a little faith, okay? I might be scared of bugs, but I'm still getting out here and I'm still doing things and I'm still getting out of my comfort zone, okay? That's more than a lot of people can say. So you can laugh at me all you want in the comments, but I'm making myself proud and that's all that matters. Oh, good, good pick on this tent. Thank you. You've done a really good job helping prep for this series. Thank you, thank you. I keep checking the delivery status like every five seconds and I feel like as soon as we drive away it's going to be like your parcel has been delivered and we're going to be so annoyed if we have to turn around if we even have time to turn around I don't know and we have no idea of the quality that we've ordered it's an internet order you want to be able to hold it first <sighs> it's starting to get a bit nerve-wracking we had a couple of free days, so we came out free camping, but we made sure that we stayed in areas that were like an hour or so from home, just so that we could pick up our parcel of all our canoe stuff. We just got the notification, so we are heading home to pick it up. We stayed at a campsite last night. It was all right. Doug just did a cold plunge. Now we are going to pick up our parcel. Back to Melbourne, and then back out. And then we're back on the road, and we don't have to go back home for an 80th time. <laughs> 
Finally, we have our stuff, but it's meant to be two packages, and this says one of one, so let's take it back to the apartment and check it out. So I thought this was this long clothesline, and it's not. What is this? It's basically a bracelet. So uh, I don't know what we'll be able to use this for. I thought it would have been a good clothesline to dry things with. <laughs> it's just a bracelet. I mean, to be fair, I don't really check dimensions when I'm buying these things, and that's on me, because it's like a dollar. Oh, these wet bags don't seem very waterproof. Oh no. But is it waterproof? That's what no, absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, no air is getting out. It's water resistant. If it, if we tip the canoe, it's going to float. Yeah. And we have time to save our stuff before it fills with water. <laughs> I don't even know if this is waterproof. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I think it is. It is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh. Alright guys! And it will float. Hey! It'll do! <laughs> cool. Open it. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that is perfect. Nice. That's, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. What are you wearing? <laughs> awesome little pack of wool hat. I love it. I'm obsessed. Oh, and did we mention that Alex let us borrow his tent? Thanks, Alex. And because it's YouTube and we filmed multiple videos at once, I'm going to fill you in on what happened next in case you missed our last couple of videos. So after going through what was actually usable in our package, we drove back out to the Yarra Ranges, camped at a spot we hated, spent way too much time searching for a non-existent creek, left as soon as possible, went chasing waterfalls, had a delicious breakfast in Marysville, drove five hours across the entire state of Victoria, where we thought we were heading straight into a bushfire, false alarm, to arrive at a gorgeous beachfront campsite, and that's where we pick you up for the rest of the story. It's $10 a night. Tomorrow kicks off the start of a three day adventure that we have never done before. And truthfully, I'm a little nervous. Don't tell Doug. And just enjoy a relaxing night before the madness begins. We're gonna set up this tent or try to. At least we got beautiful views. Now, Alex said this was supposed to be easy, so if it's not, I'm coming for you, Alex. I want a refund, Alex, if this isn't easy. <laughs> Tenting, huh? Tenting like normies. Oh, whose idea was this? All right, we're gonna time this. <laughs> 47 seconds. <laughs> we don't need to call out the time. <laughs> yes, queen. What? Oh, that's the lock thing, yeah. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Two minutes and 41 seconds so far. <gasps> Alex, what is that? It's too tall. Look right. That floor is not too tall. I don't know why. Because it's a rain cover though. It's like this though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where are the windows? The window over here. Seven minutes and 40 seconds or something like that. That's pretty good for us. That's pretty time. good. For our first time. Let's see if we can get it better. Or see, we're gonna time it each night. These are blackout curtains. Yeah. There's plenty of room. Okay, let me see. So dark. Right. But it's tall in here. Yeah. Wow. This would be good. The mold. Yeah, a bit of mold, that's all right. <laughs> you get that on the big tents. <laughs> Cool, I'm happy with that. Okay, we can use this, it is a tent. Wish us luck. <laughs> Careful. Oh, God. oh my goodness. He just clipped his hands in the tent. Right, watch out for the foldy thing. <laughs> oh my God. What are we doing with this trip next week? We're gonna leave this. This paradise. This paradise for this. <laughs> this bag of mold. Not that we don't love it, Alex. What is that? What are you? Oh, okay. There's things on here. Oh, I don't like that. I honestly think we're lucky to have it. You know, because it is so easy to set up, especially once you know how to do it. Yeah. Um, 
it ain't no van, <laughs> but it's all part of the adventure. How easy is it, Naka? Oh, always the best. It's so windy, you know when the wind gets caught in your hair and your hair's wet, especially when you have short hair, it like just freezes the back of your skull <laughs> when the wind is blasted. Oh, that's good though. We're feeling a lot better knowing we have a proper tent to sleep in for this challenge, but the nerves and excitement are peaking. We're on some backcountry road on the way to pick up our canoe. Uh, there's wallabies darting out on the road in front of us. It's a hundred kilometre road and there's four four-wheel drives that are in a big rush to get where they're going. So it's a great way to wake up. Just arrived to pick up our canoe. This river is way bigger than I was expecting. It's like a real river. It Stay tuned for next week where we kick off this trip and officially hit the river.